all seriousness, folks. Uh, I, I, Maraha has, uh, I've seen him perform many a times. I enjoy his Hoya stuff much times. So I am going to try to amalgamate a story of mine into one of the story of his that I have seen him perform, or Matthew Field of Penzik, no less. I'm going to try to imitate his style as much as humanly possible, but I know there is no one as good as him. In the ancient days, as in my homeland of Scotland, there was a prophecy that if the line of kings was ever broken, that the Scottish people would throw their lot behind a man who came from the sea. He would come with wounded head and coming straight off of a boat that would dock itself near the shores of Edinburgh. As so often was the case, Scotland was without a leader in these days, other than Longshanks. And, 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 and the Bishop of Edinburgh found himself held praying by the sea that the prophecy would come true. Lord, please send us our, us, us our prince, send us our savior. Right as he was, he was praying, he noticed that there was a small boat out in the midst of the North Sea. Now on this boat were unfortunately only three men. And they were there because the boat had, uh, had, had, had encountered first the worst storm of the century and then the most cataclysmically bad navigation in the history of the world. Uh, it is a boat that was sent off by India, was struck by a hurricane, and then, well, when the navigator realized that he had missed his intended target by about a hemisphere, <laughs> he, just, he did the honorable thing and threw himself over the side. <laughs> this boat came forward, 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 forward it kept coming, and, and, and uh, the priest could hardly believe his eyes until finally uh, it beached itself right, right there in the Bay of Edinburgh. Off it came three men, not at all as pale as we Scots are. And help, but, but upon them they, uh, they noticed one on whose head was bandaged as if it had been wounded. The priest thought for two, or two seconds and said, Great God, he has sent him! At last, his highness has come home, home to Scotland! Upon which uh, she escorted Maraha right to the throne of Scone. <laughs> the prophecy was well known by all and sundry in this, and seeing King Maraha attired as he is such, he was carried forth by the people and strapped right to the throne of Scone, so they would make him Prince of Scotland. Now, of course, Maraha, uh, uh, be, uh, uh, being a bard and a storyteller, he was flattered by all of this. But he realized after a little while they were serious. <laughs> and the, uh, the, uh, he was going to say, wait a minute, but they just kept, kept piling on more food, food, offering him more gold, offering him more jewels. It would be difficult for any man to, and to, uh, to let go of the riches he was being acquired. Well, there were two other gentlemen and, who came along with Baraha on that boat. One was his personal barber. He takes him with him every place he goes. <laughs> and the second was a gentleman by the name of Burball. Now this gentleman was known as one of the greatest his minds of hunts of the subcontinent, an administrator in the in the court of the Mughals. Not only that, but the only Hindi in a in a court court full of Muslims. A very dangerous proposition in and of itself. Now Maraha knew of Burball's skill, and after the grand feast that had happened that night about his arrival came back, they had a private chat. Maraha said, "I have." Enough tales to keep these men distracted for, for years. And you, Burval, are one of the greatest administrators I know of. We could make this work. Burval, of course, or said the smart thing and said, Are you nuts? <laughs> we do not know these people. I have heard rumors they eat sheep's, sheep's stomachs for crying out loud. Enjoy it. Baraha uh, said, You do realize, Burval, that I will give you half of all the gold they have given me. Uh, me, and will uh, in perpetuity if you uh, help serve me. Burball then did the sensible thing. Your Highness, I will so gladly serve you as long uh, 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 as we are here. <laughs> <laughs> and so it was that for a year, the great Prince Maraha ruled over Scotland. This, of course, has been edited out of the textbooks because the uh, textbooks are written by the English. But, uh, but of course, as happens in Scotland, being a good prince and being a good administrator means you have many, many enemies. Especially if you don't look like, 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 the, like the rest of us. Now, it came to pass that has to uh, try and try again. 
the enemies is of these two men and came forward and they realized we must get rid of Birbal in order to get rid of Prince Baraha. They tried every method possible. They tried bribery, they tried, uh, uh, tried had to string him up. Nothing worked because Burbal was too clever and was able to, able to keep the man he had sworn horn his life and his gold to very safe. Finally, though, they realized the, uh, uh, as the way to get to, the, get to him was to take on the third man, Baraha's personal barber. They bribed him with enough money to make him a king himself. And so it came to pass that one day while Baraha was going to his barber, he However, he heard, 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 heard him say, my, oh, Your Highness, I am greatly distressed. I have been beset by dreams for a week. I know not what it is, these, this religion they, um, they call Christianity, but supposedly um, he, the angel of Kill Gabriel, he called himself, came down to me and saying, The heaven is in a horrible state. It needs better administrators. It needs better administrators because they usually go someplace else. <laughs> now, now Maraha was, no, was no fool, as we know. But he did not wish to offend and the, and the sensibilities of his new subjects. And said that, unfortunately, if this is, if is what God ordains, then I will follow. And so it came in to be, to be that Maraha uh, uh, came to Rabal and said, told him, and what the barber had, t or had told him, and told him, and my, well, you, we have done great things for these people. Now you must uh, 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 us, us go forward. Well, Burbal said, very well, oh, 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 your highness. But I ask you to give me two, th uh, two things. One, let me, oh, let me die the way, uh, the way hey, I would uh, uh, choose to die. Let me die as, a, uh, as my people would want me to. Let me build a pyre on our grounds. Let me build it as high as I can, and I, and, and I shall go out blazing in glory for the good of our people. Raha said, that is an excellent idea. I give you two weeks to get your affairs in order, and then and we shall build the pyre. Two weeks passed, all affairs were in order, and then Burwall came out dressed in his best finery, finery carrying the torch himself. He, he walked down into the pyre, cast down the torch, and then watched as the, uh, all washed as the fire grew, uh, uh, grew high. Proud Scottish lords smiled their evilest smile. <laughs> now we have this false prince. Now we will be able to take a back what is rightfully ours now that that heathen is gone. They slunk away thinking they're, uh, they, had, they had done the deed. Burbal was also busy, however, tunneling through the pyre, down, uh, down through the bottom of it, and going back into his private quarters where he, uh, where he locked himself away. Two weeks passed and Maraha's court was, uh, was in turmoil, his enemies surrounding him on all sides, when two weeks later the unthinkable happened and the entire court looked like it had seen a ghost. Burbal came back, hair all disheveled, hold, hold, his beard hurt flowing everywhere, scaring the living daylights out of all these cre his creatures. It is, oh, oh no, no, my lords, I am not back, Heck, I am no ghost. God has sent me back for a message, it's to his highness. What is that message, <laughs> my friend? God has told me, hey, heaven does not need more administrators. It needs more barbers! <laughs> 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 <laughs>